everybody. Uh, welcome back to Ella Casona Budget. Today uh, I will be making a floral centerpiece. Uh, it's a autumn wedding or you can use them for a centerpiece for your Thanksgiving dinner or just as a decor around your home. And in making uh, this particular centerpiece, just keep watching. I purchased all of the flowers that you see here. They were from the Dollar Tree. And now at this time, they do have nice fall flowers. And what I did was got them and just took off the stem, you know, with the wire cutter. You're also going to need a wire cutter so you can cut. I've been uh, trying to find a way that I can um, make these particular uh, chandelier hang. And I wanted something that was going to be nice and neat because uh, I do do weddings and uh, formal dinners and stuff, so, and parties. And I wanted to find out what would be an easier way to sometime than using the hooks because sometimes they're hard to find. So you can pretty much make your own base. And this is what I come up with where I got my beads. And this right here is about maybe the size of, because you don't want to get them no bigger. Uh, you don't want to purchase them no bigger than than your your hook here. So you always want to make sure they're smaller. So this, this particular size here is maybe about the size of a regular uh, bead. And what I uh, did was got my glue gun and I just start placing them here. So I wanted to make the base to go around here so that, uh, it, and, and this is another thing, if you want to make it permanent, then you can use uh, the glass glue and this will be permanent. Use some type of glue um, or hardening and it won't come loose at all. If this is what you would desire for it to be permanent. If not, then this is always removable. Uh, it may take a little little popping off or whatever, but it will come off because it's just done with the glue gun. And sometimes the glue gun it is secure uh, it, it it secures it very well, so you don't so you don't have to worry about it uh, coming off because it will stay on. So what you would do, I'm just going to show you how you would uh, go to use it. Okay. So this is for any base that you have. This is a candle. This happened to be a candle stand here. So, I mean, if you see a beautiful candle stand that you find in the store or something and you could see yourself doing a chandelier on it, then I would get it. And if this is what you're thinking on doing, uh, uh, where you want to do a chandelier, don't don't think about trying to figure out how I'm going to do the hooks or how, because you really don't want the taping on there or anything like that. So you want it to look very nice and elegant. So. Um, this would be an easy way to do it. Uh, let me explain some. Some of them doesn't have like this particular, you know, flower thing going around it. Some of them are just round. So that's okay too. So what you do is just get your edge and you would uh, put it here. Put your glue here and then you just stick it on. Put your glue good. And you do the next one. So you do want them spaced. And if you make like a mistake, make one too close and just put it back on again. This one I was able to move over a little bit. Now mash it. And you just put one here, one there. Make sure you can kind of see a little bit between it. Maybe a half of an inch or so, you know, just separate it. Or it all depends on how many of your um, chandelier crystals you have. If, they, if you have little, it doesn't have to be all full all the time. But if you want it full, you just keep going around if, until you fill it up. So this is what you'll get. This. Now, let me show you another thing to show you how easy and then we'll get started on the flower let's say uh, you're in control of how many you want on here too but I just want to give you a little I 
example of what I'm speaking on what I'm talking about. and how evenly it turns out. It turns out really pretty. And like I said, you can fill it up as many as you want. Kind of move it around a little bit, you know, space it out. But these are your hooks, the way you made it, um, all your base. So I just did this to show you a base that I'm talking about. So we're going to get started now on doing the flower finish work. Now, also, um, I have another video I showed you a little bit on how you can place this in the middle. Um, so you can, like, dig it out. I just wanted to show you again on how. You can just get it out. And you got your hole there, so now you can just pretty much stick that in, stick it in, and right before you put it in, you can, then you would just, and it fits perfectly in the little hole, you just have to kind of mash it in, and it's in there. And if you want to go in more, you can mash it in even more, so. It's, it's up to you. You can, you can make it fit to however you want. Just make the hole, just take it out, dig a little deeper, and then it'll go in the more you do. And then you could just set it in your chandelier. So now we're going to get started on making the flower. Put that on the side. Okay. I cut all the flowers and I'll get the tags off. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that this did come from the Dollar Tree. This is the uh, made by the Floral Garden. That's the brand. your flowers so that I just started off with a pattern and then just kind of play around with it after that and that's pretty much like let's say if you wanted to do do your white flowers maybe you can start you start it from your top this way well this is smaller let me get the bigger one so yeah you can start with your big flowers here this way if you don't want it down too low then you can keep it up a couple of inches high or you can set it down to the base. It's up to you. And let's say if you wanted to put a flower in like this one. You might want to start here. Say that's about two, three inches from your base.
and you could pretty much measure your flowers by by looking at your flowers here so you keep them if you're not putting them like all the way down to the stem so that just even even out so let's see if this here I'm going to finish it up and when I come back uh, you'll see the finished product of it. This is going to keeping it even that way and bringing it this way and then you just start filling in. This is what I did so these are all the flowers that you see and so what I'm going to do is to I want to save a little bit more just so I could show you how, how I did kind of force uh, flowers in there. Okay. So you just pretty much find spots to stick your flowers in. Then I want to bring some of these little roses in. So just going to bring the rose in. So we have little roses in there. You want to always keep it even with the other flowers. You don't want any that's going to be sticking out if you're trying to make a something that's even all around. So. 